What's going on everyone? Dark Monster Moon 87 back with another Samurai Warriors 4 and I'm starting to make a show on my channel if those of you that are subscribed or not subscribed if you check out my um, channel you'll notice that I'm starting a show about Samurai Warriors 4 and it's gonna be dealing with character requests, walkthroughs whatever the people want to see I want to deliver so right now what I'm going to be showing off is Hanbei and Kanbei. So, let's beat the hell out of everybody. I had to put the difficulty on hell because these stages have been kind of a breeze to me. And on top of that, I have a very... Basically, every character in the game has like their most powerful weapon, pretty much. So, let's get this battle going. Hanbei has like this yo-yo weapon. It's pretty awesome. Kanbei is kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to explain it anyway. For those of you that never played Samurai Warriors before. But he has these orbs. <laughs> Some people call them, uh, oh, he hit you with two balls, which is kind of funny. But um, <laughs> he's actually a great character, honestly. So... Let's try out one of the Musos right here. Literally rocks everybody. I'm trying not to use the God Speed too much this time around. As I know um, some people have been saying, oh, God Speed makes the game very easy which I kind of agree with honestly and what Godspeed is is this right here it's a pretty it's a pretty nice move I think it's pretty cool but it does make the game a lot easier and that's one of the ways you can level up very quickly and including the item that you see above the character's health when I choose this item Anyone I kill now will basically drop an experience scroll over and over again. Which is pretty awesome for those of you that don't know about that in this game. Alright, so let's clear this. Let's get combi into action right here. Let's try his ultimate out. Those of you ever seen Attack on Titan, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks like a Titan's fist. Get two orbs. You were both balls. Look at that. Damn. Wrecking them. Just straight wrecking everyone. <laughs> the definition of chill out like everybody's just like oh I'm frozen help me from the heavens cleaning house right here housekeeping I clean room. I'm gonna clean this room for you. All right. Look at this big boss on campus right here. It's like, oh, you're too powerful, even on hell mode. You're just too damn powerful. Well, what's going on here? Let's hit him with the whole ass string and find out. I believe I can fly. Uh, stop. Damn.
forget running. I can just fly my way through the stage. Uh, double team. Hanbei and Hanbei going ham. <laughs> that sounds kind of funny. Damn. This whole room just got cleaned up. Street Sweeper Squad. That's what I should call them. So I created some characters in this game. I would like to know from uh, the viewers if you would like to see the created characters I made. One of them looks like a, they can basically be Hanzo's brother, honestly. And um, I made another character, female character. I'm not going to say any names because I'm still trying to think about uh, what should I name her still. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. E3. Let's talk about E3. Hyrule Warriors. That's a game that I'm definitely gonna buy. Um, another game that I'm looking forward to is Tales of Exelia 2. As you all know, I played the first one. I made guides for the first one, and I love that game and from beginning to end. It was one of those games that you can keep playing and not get bored of. I had a blast with that game. And I heard part two was like a million times better, so I cannot wait for part two to be released. Um, Common Rider, Bat Ride War 2, I can't wait for that game. Um, Undernight and Unbirth, which is a fighting game, I cannot wait for that also. So many games this year, just so many. And I look forward to basically even the new Pokemon game games, excuse me, that's um coming out for the 3DS. I cannot wait for that. And the Super Smash Brothers. I've played um, Super Smash Brothers since since the GameCube version. So I think the game. I th was there a GameCube one? The game, yeah, there was a GameCube one and then the Nintendo 64 one, yeah. Let me take that back. Since the Nintendo 64 one, I've played it. Now that I think about it, because <laughs> I actually owned that game and I don't even remember what happened to it. I think I still have it somewhere. I, I have so many damn games, it's crazy because I'm a game collector, so. But yeah, I, I, I can't wait for that. I can't wait for um, Samurai Warriors 4 to come out on the PS4. I can't wait for Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. Um, Killer Instincts, I can't wait for that too. Because there's a Season 2 coming out with uh, Sender and TJ Combo. Like, I, can, I can talk about games forever right now during this commentary, but... Right now, I gotta get focused on uh, <laughs> the Samurai Warriors 4. So, I leveled up a ton of characters, which I'm looking forward to showing off. Cause this game is fun as hell, like honestly. But the only thing about the game that I'm gonna let everybody know right now is that the God Speed, which is this move right here, the triangle move makes the game very easy it don't matter how many stars or stages honestly it doesn't like you would literally have to play with like the first weapon you ever got in the game and sometimes that's not even enough but other than that the game's the game's fun as hell i've been playing the hell out of this game honestly more than uh dw8 honestly but um the only, the only thing I miss about Samurai Warriors is that, um, let's see, some of, some of the old school moves, some of the old school moves, but other than that, I enjoy the game, I think it's a hot game, alright, but um, today, the, the craziest thing happened to me, like, I, I was just, it just blew my mind that um, this stuff 
gamers get mad about is just crazy. Like, you can't, um, and this, this has happened to me a couple of times. Like, they're quick to state their opinion about something, but when you state your own, they don't want to hear that shit. It's like, oh, it's not what I wanted to hear. Um, forget you. But they, they take it to the extreme, though. I mean, all of a sudden, they want to break friendships up and everything. And I'm like, listen, at the end of the day, this is just video games. It's not... It's not a real life situation. Don't get me wrong. It's a it's a fun situation to get into video games, but it's nothing to break a friendship over. Like it's really not. Like it would it would honestly depend. Like I can understand if you let somebody borrow a game and they broke the game or whatever and it was a real like a system for example and they didn't want to pay for it back then i can understand then that's not really a friend you know but there was people just snapping at each other about the e3 and and everything and i'm just sitting back like wow like i'm laughing because i think it's funny but at the same time i think it's kind of retarded <laughs> i'm not gonna even lie about that and i'm just like wow this is <laughs> This is the world I live in today. It's just crazy. But um I had a other than that I had a great day. I hope everybody else had a great day and has a great week as well. Cause lately a lot of people are just being negative. And it's just crazy. It's just <laughs> I'm like, do you, do you enjoy being depressed all the time? Cause dude, I don't know what it is. Like, um, I can, I can make a big example out of Twitter. Uh, my Twitter, there, there will be a, a lot of people. They'll write something negative and it'll get a whole bunch of faves and everything. You write something positive or something like that. You get a whole bunch of fuck yous, and I'm like, that's kind of backwards. It, it really is, but you know, you can't you can't really talk about it because when you do, people get offended, and I'm like, you're getting offended over something that it's just the truth, you know. But it's like only only the chosen few wants to hear the truth now, and the rest want to hear fa <laughs> fabricated lies about anything. It's like you gotta, you gotta um, be an actor and act out a character that you're really not in order to fit in. And honestly, I, I, I'd rather be myself than to act like somebody I'm not. That's just some fake shit, honestly. And I would never break up a friendship over E3. That's just going extremely full full-fledged retard honestly but that's just how i feel about it and the, the thing that bugs me out too is that you know you can you can never please everybody that's that's a true saying because there's people that they'll cry about this thing or complain then when it gets fixed they still complain anyway and then uh, when the thing that they complained about, they're like, oh, I want it back and they can't get it back. They complain anyway. So it's like, like, there's no winning. It's like a big ass contradiction. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Like, seriously, you just said that you ain't want this. And now that it's not here, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But that's what happened to me today. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it, it's been on my mind so i'm like you know what let me let me vent it out of one of my videos as well as talking about um like the, the questions that i wanted to answer that i've been asked in my comments for um, a couple of my samurai war vi videos so yeah, you'll be seeing Hyrule Warriors on my channel. You'll be seeing a lot of different um, 
games and everything. A lot of the new releases this year. But um, J Star versus Victor, yeah, it's J Star versus Victory. That game looks incredible. Like um, when I was watching it on Jur's channel, I said, "Wow, I, I really need to pick up this game. This game is fucking blazing. The battles are crazy. Everything about that game was just pure craziness." So that's it right there. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this walkthrough, the commentary as well. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. If you enjoy my channel, let me know also. And thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more. And I'm out.